Welcome to Scott Cooks. Today we're going to be making a two-part meal. We're going to do some Yukon Gold mashed potatoes using the Ninja Foodi. And we're also going to do a homemade buttermilk drenched chicken fried cube steak. We'll be cooking that in the foodie as well. Let's get started. We're going to start by peeling and dicing these Yukon Golds. You can um, make your mashed potatoes with any potato you like. Um, I don't usually use cooking or baking potatoes. Um, for mashed potatoes, I prefer the Yukon or a red potato, but really anything would work. So first, this is about a, about a pound, pound and a half. So let's go ahead and uh, peel these and uh, we'll cube them up, you know, just small one and a half, two inch size cubes. To make my mashed potatoes a little extra yummy, I'm gonna use some of this better than bouillon chicken broth. This stuff is really good, uh, highly concentrated, great flavor. And to do that, uh, all we're gonna do is put a cup of water in the foodie. We're gonna put it on sear saute and high. I'm basically gonna bring this to a boil. Um, let's add another half a cup. We're gonna make that a cup and a half total because I wanna get the, the bottom covered. And we're gonna put a teaspoon of this in there and uh, dissolve it in the hot water. Okay, now all we're gonna do is bring this water up to a boil. Gently stir that in with our uh, wooden spoon and dissolve it. And then we'll be ready to uh, put the cubed potatoes in, which I haven't haven't cubed yet. Getting ready to, just got them peeled. I'll be cubing them all up, about that size. That'll make them easy to mash. All right, this Ninja gets hot fast. Already warm and dissolving. We'll have to get it closer to a boil to get it completely dissolved because uh, this better than bouillon uh, is a liquid and you have to keep it in the refrigerator once you open it so it's it's pretty thick. Oh well, there we go. It just about got it already. Man I love this ninja. It's so hot. It just it does everything so fast. Yeah we're good guys. That was amazingly quick. Alright, what we do is just um, power that, turn that off. We'll go ahead and get our potatoes into the water, into the chicken broth. Alrighty. Yeah. All chopped up, sitting down there in the broth, looking good. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to put them under some pressure. Make sure you put that guy on seal back there. We're going to pressure this on high. Six minutes. We're going to do a quick release. And while we're waiting on that, um, this is not one another one of those long involved recipes. I got two really large cube steaks here uh, that I'm probably going to cut in half and make four small ones. We're going to go ahead and start soaking these in some buttermilk right now. Um, just soaking them in milk would not do what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, this is a southern thing, I guess. But buttermilk has been used for hundreds of years, uh, and it is a tenderizer. Uh, it has some acidity to it, and what it will do, unlike other tenderizers, this will not make the meat mushy. So it's just, it's just going to tenderize it without it making it all mushy. Like so, we're just going to get a shallow pan, cover this with buttermilk, and we're also going to be dredging in buttermilk and flour um, to make the final product. There you go, we're gonna be using real buttermilk for this. And if you've never used it, you might wanna just try it one time. Uh, boy, does it make a difference. All right, just find a, any sort of shallow pan you can find. Um, get them laid out. We're gonna cover them with the buttermilk. Don't have to go crazy. Just cover them, look how thick that is. It's not cream. 
Okay, just like that. Here's the part you might think is a little strange. I'm just gonna set it out and let it come to room temperature. And um, believe it or not, let's get this buried underneath there. That is one of the secrets to a great dish. Um, now, once we're done with this, we're gonna drain that off. Once the, uh, we're gonna wait about an hour or so. Then we're gonna drain that away. Uh, and then we're gonna make an actual buttermilk egg mixture for the dredging. Now, just like the, um, the buttermilk we have them soaking in, we want the buttermilk and egg mixture to actually come to room temperature as well. And it takes about an hour or so. So we're just gonna use ourselves a nice big bowl. And that is one cup of buttermilk. If you're doing more cube steaks, you might wanna do a couple cups. And I have a large egg. I'm gonna crack in there, whirl it up, set it over to the side. Just let it come to room temperature. All right, we're gonna beat this up pretty good, but we don't want to um, really, we don't, we're not trying to get a lot of air in it or anything. We're just combining. So don't whip it like crazy. Don't put it in an electric mixer or anything. That's about all it takes right there. And we'll just set this aside as well. And they can just sit there happily for about an hour. Oh, we've just we've just got pressure over here for our potatoes. The button just popped up. So the timer should be coming up in a second here. And then we're gonna do six minutes under pressure and then we'll do a quick release. Okay, just drain the uh, chicken broth from the potatoes. Six minute quick release. And what I'm gonna do now is just simply just throw a plate over top of the bowl. Just gonna keep these warm. And um, I'll mash them up, turn them into mashed potatoes in a little later. And uh, of course we're still bringing to room temperature our batter and we're soaking our cube steak over here. And I guess I'll be back in about 40 minutes to finish up. I'm not gonna be able to get all these in the foodie at one time, so I'm gonna do these in two batches and then just reheat some. So I've drained off most of the uh, buttermilk and sitting out for about an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and season both sides with my favorite seasoning. Let me get something to flip those with. All right, and what I'm gonna do here, set up our little dredging station. So we're gonna go into the buttermilk egg mixture, over to the flour, back to the egg mixture, back to the flour. Shake it off, we're gonna go into the basket, into the foodie. We'll be cooking these on tender crisp mode, 390 degrees, uh, approximately seven, six, seven minutes per side. So let me uh, do a little clean up here and we'll get going. All right, I just washed my hands, so we're gonna use my hands. So we're gonna go completely in, right into the flour. Press it, give it a shake back in the mixture. One more time. Get it good and covered. There we go. Give it a little shake. And right in the basket. I think we're only gonna go two in there, so it's fine. Soak it. Drip it. Smash it. I just throw some up on top. All right. Shake it. Back in again. Get most of it off. And press it. Shake it. And then there we go. 
And uh, while those are cooking, we'll start that in a second. I'll get ahead and go ahead and get the next two all coated up. Just have them sitting here on the side of the plate, ready to go. All right. Over the top. Power up. <clears throat> here, Chris. 390 is the default. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go seven minutes per side. We can always adjust later. Seven minutes. We'll give them a flip. Go seven more. In the meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and um, coat the next two pieces of cube steak I have here. Have them just sitting ready. And then we'll get started on those potatoes. Well, while we're, while we're waiting around on that, I decided to just make a quick side salad. So I'm just using some iceberg lettuce, celery, carrot, tomato. Simple salad. Go really well with chicken fried steak and potatoes. And I'm hoping I get enough drippings in the bottom of the pan. Uh, I'm going to make a quick little gravy too. Let's go ahead and get these potatoes mashed up. All I'm going to do, take a half a stick of butter, drop it right in there. Uh, they're still warm, but I'm going to put this whole bowl everything right in the microwave about 30 seconds melt that butter i'll take my spoon mash them up slowly add a little milk to it not butter milk <laughs> that probably would not be that good <laughs> regular a whole milk and um then some salt and pepper all right get the butter melting there i'm gonna go ahead and use the right tool for the right job just get this down in there just this will mash them up real nice for me then i'll take over with the spoon once I get these crushed up. Now as far as the amount of milk, I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Just do it real slow um, and get to the consistency you're after. Some people like it real thick and chunky. Some people like it super creamy. Uh, I'm going for like a mixture in the middle. See, I've still got, still got to incorporate some of that in. So that's pretty darn close. Um, I'm going to add just a little more milk. All right, because of some time constraints I have, I've decided not to do the gravy. I'm doing the second batch in the foodie right now. But there you have it. Uh, buttermilk soaked, cubed, chicken fried steak, Yukon gold mashed potatoes. And uh, we'll be having a small side salad to go with this. If you like this video, leave me some comments. Please hit that like button. Thumbs up. Click the bell, you get notifications when I put out new videos. And I don't know if I said it or not, but please subscribe to the channel. I want to thank everybody for watching and enjoy.